Hello everyone, this is Scrapping Carol. I hope you all are having a blessed day thus far. And I hope your week was a blessed one as well. I'm here to share with you a mini album that I just got finished with. I started on it yesterday and spent a couple hours on it yesterday and then just finished it today. And trying to decide what it was I actually wanted to do with this mini for the girls. This mini album is for a set of twin girls. They're eight years old and their grandparents are part of our fellowship ministry and feeding. We feed to the homeless uh, twice a month, sometimes three. So uh, their granddaughters turned eight years old last Friday and they're celebrating their birthday today. And we're on our way to the birthday party so I wanted to put something together for them rather than buying toys. They have plenty of toys. Mom is not a scrapbooker so I thought this mini was a quick and easy and it's simple for her to just trim her pictures and paste them down. So let's get started. The paper stack that I used was a stack that I found at Tuesday mornings. And this is the paper line, Specialty Connection, I think it's called here. And it was cardstock mats, and the size is 5 by 7 The stack came with 20 sheets, I'm sorry, 30 sheets, and I probably used about 24 of them. And some of them I cut out, and I didn't think they went with this thing that I had, and I just wanted bright colors. Um, it's a envelope mini and I used the um, 5x7 envelopes I didn't use the cards out of it I uh, did the um, sentiment from my computer and I don't know if you can see it I used um, some sparkly Mod Podge on the front of it give it some sparkles since it is birthday and I thought this paper was really nice and so what I did is I chose ribbons the color of the paper and rather than balloons I used flowers and some of these flowers I got in swap and what I did is some of them are uh, just flowers that I had in my stash and I just put some rhinestones on the centers of them. The cover, front and back cover is chipboard and with the chipboard and the envelopes I covered all the pages with cardstock, different colors of cardstock, and then matted them with the pattern paper and also cardstock again. So here we are with the first page. Again I think I said that mom's not a scrapbooker and so I wanted to make it simple for her. And so here she just has uh, photo mats here. And then I put some ribbon here with buttons. And each of the pages have a pocket, has a pocket, and a tag, pull out tag. And the way I did the tags was I just took two pieces of the um, pattern paper from the stack and paste, glued them together. To make the photo maps. In this page, just did some smaller photo mats and added some flowers. And these flowers again are from my stash or recollection flowers. I did use some of the pattern paper to in cardstock to punch, use some punch out flowers. Here. Another pull out tag. And as you can tell, the tags are pretty large. I put a few photos on those. And then they have the pockets to store some more photos. This page, I just added some yellow rickrack that I had in my stash and left these pages plain so they can add several photos however they choose to do so. Another pull out tag. 
And I thought this pattern paper was nice because it had the journaling lines already there. And this stack, uh, the papers were double sided. And this page, bright. I went bright. As you can see, and these, these uh, flowers came from Michael's in the $1.50 bin. And it also came already with the uh, rhinestones in the package. Another pull-out tag. Journaling. The next page, also bright, but I like it. I love it. The greens. More recollection flowers. And these flowers are from Michael's Ben. And this is the pull-out tag for this page. And then this is the last page here. Simple. Just added some rickrack. Flowers from my stash. And I added a button and then a rhinestone. And then on the back, I just put my information here for the girls. So I hope they like the mini album. Hope you guys like it. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I haven't gotten there yet. But I thank you so much for your comments. I thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you for your comments and your encouragement. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. And I will see you soon with the next video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.